This is a demonstration of the University of Florida virtual simulator. We will first look at our spine simulator. In the foreground, you'll see the physical model. and In the background, you'll see the virtual model. The virtual model is connected to a virtual fluoroscopy unit. And here we are reorienting the virtual fluoroscopy unit, showing its full capabilities. The virtual fluoroscopy unit can also mimic rotations of the patient on the table and the introduction of a probe into the physical model is again projected into the virtual fluoroscopy unit. Reorienting the unit during the procedure is as simple as orienting a routine fluoroscopy unit. And here a user is establishing what they consider to be the appropriate trajectory for a selected screw diameter and length. Once the trajectory is selected, the lateral view was requested, and then the trajectory was established and evaluated. The system also has capabilities of doing full image guided training. Our RFL simulator works on the same platform. Again, the virtual fluoroscopy unit is being tilted. The physical model is grabbed by the user and oriented so they can have a good view of the frame at O'Valley. The same procedure that is used in the real patient is used in this model. The material allows the exact same probe to be used as would be used in real surgery. After insertion and identification that we are appropriately in V3, rotation is requested to establish depth of the probe. If the user is having difficulty understanding the anatomy, these models can be taken apart in steps. Here we are removing part of the cheek This allows the user to have the full patient model in front of them, but to physically see the internal anatomy to better understand the procedure. Thank you very much.